Good morning everyone, welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Today, Sprinkles and I are in the lobby of the Novak Motel. No, we didn't spend the night here, but there is a hollow tape over there. See, henchman wanted. There's a hollow tape over there on the desk, being guarded by Jeannie. She slapped my hand away a number of times, so we're gonna go all up. We're gonna go up to it all nice and sneaky sneaky. Yeah, we're gonna get a sneaky sneaky. Henchman wanted, and of course, this is a hello. This is a quest mod. Uh, it's been out for a little while, but I've been quite busy, so I'm only getting around to playing it. But I think I'm pretty much all caught up anyway. This is a Madman's Purpose by American Weirdo, and um, of course, American Weirdo gave us the road below, and is uh, it's coming with a quite a number of mods quite quickly, and uh, yeah, a number of mods in quite a short amount of time. But they are pretty good. They are really, well, they've gotten better and better as uh, they've progressed. So yeah, so it starts in Novak, and you've got a. Um, Got to get that hollow tape. Um, once again, I will apologise for frame rate issues, um, but you've heard me talk about that before. So, let's get started. And we have as a weapon today just the one. This is the Benelli M3 Super 90 shotgun. I do like a shotgun. Not my favourite kind of gun, but I will take one. And this is a custom, uh, completely custom, made from scratch. Um, uh, mesh and texture with its own custom sounds and the textures are, are uh, 4k but uh, there are alternative textures um, linked on the uh, mods description page uh, if you want to go check those out um, and yeah the 4k texture and you just got to look at so finely detailed the scratches the bumps just the uh, oh everything and there's uh, some nice design on the side with the shotgun shell cartridges and uh, yeah I mean, a lot of effort has been put into uh, making this and I have fired it off and the sound does uh, it does sound really quite cool and uh, um, yeah, I'm really going to look forward to using this. So it takes a 12 gauge round, holds eight at a time, a uh, DPS of 302, and has a damage of 18 times 10. Times 10, yes. Um, this also comes with three mods. Let's check those out. Uh, this is the breech kit, the saddle, uh, and the reflex sight. But uh, I'll show you those later on. A screenshot should have popped up, maybe, possibly by now, uh, showing you what they are. But um, we'll get it all up with the uh, mods later. I don't know how many enemies are going to be in this uh, particular this particular quest mod, but um, if not, then we'll just fire off. A, we'll, <laughs> we'll just show off a bit later on after the mod. But uh, yeah, let's get to it. Greetings! Are you in need of some caps? Are you capable of reading this note? Do you have at least one working limb? I have many, thank you. Then you may be just what I need. My name is Doctor Disaster. I'm a scientist that seeks to challenge the world, but due to the political climate of the Mojave and also my inability to defend myself because of all my special points are in intelligence and everything else is at zero, I am in need of an able-bodied henchman to do my dirty work for me. You will be paid, rest assured. Uh, on this holiday, bar directions to my secret underground lab. Come find me and give me the secret password written on the bottom of the note. Uh, then I'll give you your first orders as my new lackey. Ooh. Just remember to be prepared. The way to my lab may be inhabited by a few undesirables. Consider it your first test. Until then, this is your future employer wishing you luck on finding. Dr. Disaster. P.S. The secret password is, I'm having your bitch tonight. Whisper it to me. And I'll know that you are legit. I'll take features directions to the entrance of the room. A Madman's Purpose quest. Find Dr. Disaster. Oh, Doctor Disaster. Let's go find him, Sprinkles. Oh, he's right there. Oh, he's just over here. No need to fast travel. I think we can do with the walk, Sprinkles. Getting a little bottom heavy. Yeah, look at you. Smart little bugger. Smart little bugger. That's why everyone in Novak was looking at you. They're like, you know, look at that dapper little robot. Isn't he adorable? Uh, I'm guessing he's over there. <laughs> yeah, so if the frames get too bad, I might just have to... I don't know what I'm going to do, actually. I might have to blame the gun. Use key. Did we get a key? It was just a holotape we got. Doctor Disaster, hello. He hasn't slept in his bed. There's a bunker, I'll just give that a little minute. Up in crate. Yes, I don't know why I have C4. I've never used this E4. I think I did it once to blow up um 
Uh, the followers out. Uh, what's, what's the followers out post? Yeah. And just to see everyone just flying away. But that's the only time I've really used the C4. Oh, there Oh, and there's a door. Oh, shagged. Shag oh, sh I haven't got the thing. I haven't got the bloody shotgun selected. Oh, God. So, yes, the sound uh, is pretty nice. It's pretty cool. Sound of the gun. Oh, God, look at you. Laser rifle. What the hell happened to you? Oh, you're like jelly. What? I, I'm sorry, what? I'm not all that sure what happened there. Huh. Let me try that again. Oh, pet boy up the fucking way. Good, good, Sprinkles, you. Hold on. Wait, what happened there? What happened? Open ammunition. Michael Fuzzin. I'm not too sure what actually happened there. Did you do something, Sprinkles? I mean, there was a bit of a green glow. You are naked. No, you're all the bottom, mate, but Christ's sake, you know, put some clothes on, man. Get okay, this. Eggs. Cazador egg. I'm gonna. Gonna boil these up later on, Sprinkles. Go get them. Go get them. Get you a little bottom out. Be a detergent. Patient can. <laughs> so what the hell is going on down here then? This is the weirdest thing ever to happen to the Mojave. <clears throat> it's a powerful fucker. I mean from this distance, you know. Ooh, knock knock. Is that a little bit, a little bit of glitchiness. But I've done that myself with the papers. Just can't seem to get them. Look at that. Look at that. Just can't seem to get the paper clutter to properly get on the table. Requires key. Let's go find the key sprinkles. You can distract them with all your new finery. There we go. Duct tape, we could put that man back together. Just ignoring the fact that there's someone down there. Bitch. Bitchy bitch. At least they gave him a coffee mug. At least they gave him a nice cup of coffee. Down, bitch. Shish kebab. Oh, look at these axes, they look pretty cool. Higgs hub. Well, maybe we should pay Higgs a visit as well. Where's Higgs? Come on, Higgs. Key. Everything requires a key these days. Remember in my day we had no keys. Maybe we should go back and check out some more of the uh um yeah that sewer kind of area. Okay, this seems like yeah, okay, I'm gonna go back and check it. <laughs> I don't really like missing different places. Seen that? Oh, it's, a, it's just dead ends, I think. Oh, this is a different kind of looking place. Oh crap! What did it do? Oh, do they keep people in these cages? Do they poke them with sticks? Hope so. Oh. 
require. Everything requires a key. I keep picking up ammunition that I have just no weapon for and I have no need for. Junk food. I had no need for that either. It's something I really cut out. Alright. Eggs hub. Disaster. Oh, it's the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. Disaster center. It's a disaster down here. Badoomch. Holy fuck. So some really nice design here by uh, from American Weirdo. First of all, I've got to say that. What's this? What's, what's going on here? What are you doing? Uh, I think you're supposed to... Uh, I'm guessing you're supposed to be falling down in the ground. There we go. I'm just going to fish you. Oh, it's Doctor D D D D D D is that you, Doctor Disaster? Hold on, Doctor. I'm just gonna push your robots over. Yeah. This is old world. Yes, of course it is. It's the old world blues. So this see it was required. I keep forgetting to say that now. If a thing's required for a, a mod, I should probably say that. Even though it's on the description, I should probably still say it anyway. Your robots are dead but standing, Dr. Disaster. What do you say about that? Shut up. Yes, oh. it is I, right. Dr. Disaster. The envy of scientific minds all across the wasteland. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, oh. To what do I owe the pleasure of this meeting? Crash. Better voice acting than me. Uh, I'm, having your <laughs> I'm having your bitch tonight. It's some kind of pre-war bunker or something. It's a pretty big room. What are you doing here? See you, Doc. This is the disaster center! Bum, bum, bum. My lab of operations where I commit horrible acts of immorality in the name of science! <laughs> um, it's kind of pre-war bunker? Well, yes. It was originally known as Area 101, one of the many research facilities located all across the states before the war. But I swear that when I discovered it, it was already abandoned. I've just reappropriated it for my own nefarious purposes. <laughs> what the fuck was that? What was that last bit? Did he invite someone in to do the other? To do the. Because <laughs> it just did something like someone else just sort of, you know, stuck their head into the mic and just went, eh, eh, eh. I'm having your bitch tonight. Okay, uh, where is your bitch so I know who it is? My what? What are you. Oh, you're here for the job offer. Yes. Oh, are fuck, I forgot to read the whole enough. tape. Hopefully, you are ready to get right to work. Your first and only job as my henchman is to help get this mass relay up and working so that I may find the secret location of Big Mountain. This secret pre-war facility has eluded me for far too long. I seek to discover it and plunder its treasure of lost technologies. <laughs> no. Okay. Unfortunately, uh, the mass relay doesn't work right now. It needs parts to repair. Fortunately, that's where you come in handy. <laughs> okay. Uh, what do you want me to do for? I should have read that all tape. For oh God, I can't believe. I'll read it after this, and then what I'll do is I'll stick it into the the the, the start of the uh, the start of the mod. So, you'll, you'll, you'll already know this by now. <laughs> and so what do you want me to do first? You must go into the Milken Medical Center and retrieve for me a quantum compensator. That is your first mission. <laughs> okay. A what? It's a... 
It's a scientific thingy that does stuff you probably won't understand. It'll have a quest marker, I assure you. Oh, good. Once you find it, return it to me, and we can continue with my beautiful plan. Yes! Ah, 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 ah! <laughs> Why do you laugh so frequently, you madman? It's because I'm thinking of really funny jokes, but I can't tell you them because they're also really dirty. Oh. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. First joke he ever told was to his barber to give him that haircut. I don't have the thingy yet. What? Well, then what are you <coughs> still doing here? Go! Get it! Oh, I haven't even left yet. There could be a lot of dead robots lying around. What have you been doing with them? Have you been having sex with them? What are you doing? Yes. Yes? There are. <laughs> <laughs> he laughs whisperingly like that into their ear when he's having sex with them. Why do you have so many dead robots? Where else am I going to scavenge valuable robot parts? But of course... I've gone through all these drones and have yet to find the circuitry I need. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Tell me about yourself. Oh, Christ, no. Well, of course. I'd love to talk in great lengths about me. Ah, 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 ah. I'll start from the beginning. I was born in Vault 16, very far away. It was full with nothing but smart people. Unfortunately, I had to leave because it was also full of pretentious assholes. Ugh. When I was 16, I committed my first murder. Ooh, what joy. He was a raider who demanded my caps. Instead of caps, I gave him my blade. Ah, ah! When I was 23, I took a drug called Neptune. And now I can see past the fourth wall. All became clear at that moment. I finally had purpose. I can see everything. That's how I know exactly where you should go without having never explored this facility myself. Unfortunately, I still don't know where the big empty is. So I still need help with that. But for 30 years, I have sought to uncover the mysteries of this world. I have also made plans to take over the moon. Shit. <laughs> uh, but that's just a side project of mine. Where was I again? Oh yeah, me. So yeah, that's about it. What else did you want to talk about? Holy shit. <laughs> You're a strange man. What is, I'm having your bitch tonight, the secret phrase? Oh. <laughs> Developer inside joke. <laughs> you had to be there. Let me get there. Oh, there's only really one thing I can think of. See you, Doc. Yes, leave me to my studies. There is so much to do and so little time to do it. Go fix your hair. I'm reading that whole tape now. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so just recorded the uh, reading of the uh, holo tape thing. You'll see. You would have seen it at the start because I just shoved it in. Unless I forgot, then I sound like a psycho. All he gave is a key. He's very trustworthy. I hear. Just lets you roam around here. Although he didn't men mention anything about Sprinkles' bow tie. <laughs> bitch! Bitch, I'm having you, bitch! Having all the bitches! <laughs> Fucking die, you guys, skull just came right out. There we go. Sprinkles, distract these gentlemen whilst I uh, plunder this thing. There's nothing. Oh, someone fired something at me. Fuck off, bitch. Oh, god damn you. Sprinkles, oh my god, that is so cool. Bitch! 
bitches! Oh, I like that as well, that glow. That's like a once in a lifetime thing that we'll never see that kind of thing again. Main tats. I can't remember the last time I had a main tats. I've been clean. I've been clean, damn it. I can't get through. Human flesh, my god, you filthy bastard. Hey! hey. Fuck you! Tell me to turn out the lights, you son of a bitch. Because that is code to me to kill you. So, you know, just be careful. You spec thingy. So this is really this looks this looks really nice. American Weirdo is certainly improved. Improved the skills of mod making. Uh, damage pro hey come on gimme. Especially the the design. Looks really, really nice. Open desk. I'm having your bottle caps, then I'm having your bitch. Reception. Oh, terminal, yay. Get to do tons of reading. So I'm just the best at Susan Curie. <coughs> Curie. 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 Terminal. Wait, hold on. Is this vanilla or is it something that it's not? Or is it something? Now, this is a much drop code shipping. I regret to inform you we didn't order a hundred dead bodies. There must have been a shipping error. You'll be sending back these bodies as soon as possible. Sorry for the inconvenience, Susan Curie. Head secretary. It's okay. Message to the secretary. Dear Susan, I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier, but I was the one who purchased those 100 dead bodies. My team in the main, my team in the main lab are planning on using cybernetics uh, to reanimate the bodies. Uh, though they won't be fully conscious, these lobotomites will work wonders in the hard, hard labour. Ah, it's part of Other jobs that uh, are too expensive to outsource. Though you may be wondering why dead bodies and not just robots, well I figured it was a good way to kill two birds with one stone, experiment with cybernetics and also obtain some cheap labour. Sure the program isn't perfect and initial tests show that the lobotomites tend to be aggressive, especially when exposed to large amounts of radiation, but my team is fixing the issue as we speak. Uh, we will not be sending back those 100 dead bodies, that is all. Chairman Faraday. Faraday. I like that name. Message to Rob Go Shipping, never mind, we've decided to keep the dead bodies. <laughs> That's the weirdest email someone would ever have. The weirdest way to start an email. We've decided to keep dead bodies. However, I'm not at liberty to say what we'll be using them for, but I assure you I'll be using them in a completely normal, no, sorry, moral and humane way. <coughs> Though personally, I do have questions as to where Rob Go managed to obtain 100 dead, body, dead human bodies, but if we agree not to pry into your dirty business. We hope you do the same for us. Thank you for your time, Susan Kelly. I keep saying Kelly. Head secretary. Susan Kelly, head secretary. So, Labora mates. I mean, surely it's easy enough to accidentally ship a hundred dead bodies. Probably even, you know, quite normal to accidentally stumble across a hundred dead bodies that you will then end up accidentally shipping. It's not normal though for someone to decide to keep them after you've sent them. I would be furious if someone sent me a hundred dead bodies. Especially if I not, had nothing to do with them. Uh, to do with them. Where was all the wall? You can fuck off. Oh, someone's hitting me. Don't like it. Sprinkles do something. Someone's attacking us. Oh, you're up there, you little shit. 
Yes. Oh, I'm gonna grenade him, Sprinkles. If he, you know, survived your attack.